Enchanté. Alistair Montgomery meeting Owl the Third here. Allow me to enlighten you on the art of utilizing the Meeting Owl Pro in your virtual endeavors on platforms such as Zoom or Google Meet. As a snooty gentleman of impeccable taste, I shall guide you through this process with an air of utmost sophistication. Yeah, hi, I'm Jack. I'm a regular Meet Now Pro, here to translate this guy's nonsense. Firstly, ensure that your Meeting Owl Pro is properly positioned in your opulent study or esteemed conference room. Its presence alone will awe your virtual comrades with its impeccable design and advanced capabilities. Uh, yeah. Just make sure the owl is three feet away from the TV and located no further than ten feet away from the group. Indubitably, my distinguished companions, allow me to eludicate the process of connecting the USB cable to the base of the owl and the other end into your computer. With deliberate grace, align the tip of the USB cable with the designated port on the base of the owl. Now, with a sense of accomplishment, fix your gaze upon your computer. It is there, my dear colleagues, where the other end of the USB cable shall find its rightful place. Gently, with unwavering precision, insert the opposing end of the USB cable into the waiting port. Basically, plug the USB cable into the base of the owl, and then the other end into your computer. Then, plug the power cord into the wall. Observe with dignified air as the energy flows through the power adapter, awakening the dormant faculties of the owl. Patience, my refined friends, is a virtue we must exhibit. Wait with regal poise until the owl's eyes cease their rhythmic dance and a majestic hoot graces your ears. This shall be the signal, the affirmation that the owl has reached its pinnacle of readiness. Hoot. Yeah, just make sure your owl is plugged into a power source and your computer. When the owl's eyes start pulsing and you hear a hoot, your owl is ready to use. Now, let's embark upon the realm of Zoom, a platform fit for those of superior taste. Open it with a sense of purpose, navigating through the digital labyrinth of icons and menus until you find yourself at gateway of virtual interaction. So, it's pretty simple. You just gotta make sure you have downloaded the app ahead of time. Then you're gonna launch Zoom or Microsoft Teams. You're gonna go to your audio video settings. And when it comes to select a microphone, you're gonna select Meeting Owl. When you select a speaker, you're gonna select Meeting Owl. And then when you're gonna select a camera, you're gonna select Everybody Now. Meeting Owl. The stage view, as it were, graciously assumes the role of the default view for our illustrious owl. Its sheer brilliance manifests in a split-screen spectacle, effortlessly bestowing its attention upon the esteemed orator of the moment. And pray do, do indulge in the extravagant feature of this view, for it magnanimously splits its display up to three times, showcasing not only the current speaker, but the past two voices that graced us with their wisdom, albeit fleetingly, for a mere ten seconds. Oh, and let's not overlook the grandeur of a 360 panorama encompassing the entirety of our sacred space and all participants. Okay, so what he's saying is basically if you look at the screen, you got three windows on the bottom, you got a whole one at the top, 
Stage view is this what it's called. It is the default view for the owl. It displays a split screen view that will automatically focus on the current speaker. And then the display will also split up to three times total to include the last two speakers for 10 seconds after they are done speaking. And this view includes a 360 panorama of the entire space and all participants on top of the speakers. I present to you the resplendent Meeting Owl Pro's mobile application designed to seamlessly accompany your esteemed self in moments of presentations or meetings where the ostentatious 360-degree panorama strip proves superfluous. With the app's omnipotence in your command, you may delicately toggle the future enabling or disabling it to suit your distinguished taste, deign to direct your gaze towards the hallowed realm of camera controls while you shall exercise your dominion over the magnificent creature. Okay, so basically what this knucklehead just said is we're gonna adjust the device settings and this is where the Meeting Owl Pro mobile app comes in handy. So make sure you download the app, okay? For presentations or meetings where you want something specific, this is where you go to. All right, so here are some of the features that you can adjust. Number one, lock and zoom. You can focus on a person and, and that's an option for you. There's also presenter enhance where the camera actively follows the presenter. Do you want it? Do you not? I don't know. Maybe you do. You can click the button. Also, 360 panel. You can choose whether you want that panoramic view or if you just want it to focus on the people speaking. And then you have the ignore zone. I'm sure you want to ignore me right now. However, you can just choose and select an area for the owl to ignore. Bing, bang, boom. Esteemed guests, as we bring this illustrious presentation to a close, allow me to extend my deepest gratitude for your unwavering attention. May the regal splendor of this Meeting Owl Pro and its accompanying mobile application forever grace your endeavors. Yada, yada, yada. All right, folks, that about wraps up this presentation. I want to thank y'all for sticking around and lending an ear. Now let's get down to the nitty gritty of it all. When it comes to the Meet and Owl Pro mobile application, it's a handy tool for us hardworking folks. Sometimes we don't need all that fancy 360 degree panorama stuff. So with this app, you can toggle and feature it to suit your needs. Now, when you're ready to roll, ain't nothing complicated about that. Just navigate on over to the camera controls and take charge like a true boss. It's as simple as that, so I don't want to hear any more questions. Thank you for your time. Peace out.